Popularly known as Distro Lonely as an American recording artist from Atlanta, Georgia, he further elaborated on the lonely part came into fruition as he felt lonely at his house while doing online school. The son of a rapper, Al Twenty, lonely grew up in a musical household and created music from a young age. His earliest official releases came in late 2015 on SoundCloud. He cites artists Tal the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, Lucky, Chief Keef, and Drake as his earliest inspirations to take music seriously. He even admits that he sounds a little like his dad as he's grown within his music, channeling distorted offbeat flows and wild bars pocketed with euphoric, synth-infused production. Lonely sets out to destroy every beat he touches, showing no signs of slowing down as he continues to level up, teaching himself how to navigate audio production software such as Audacity and Pro Tools. This is where the young rapper found an inkling to his future moniker, being lonely. As time passed, Lonely's days locked away at home were numbered, proving that his time at homeschooling was a learning experience, but in a different musical sense. While attending high school, he linked up with fellow classmates and frequent collaborators, Texocam and Nizas. Soon after finding himself and making friends, his first ever project on digital streaming platforms was his collaborative record with Nizas, Nizas Destroyed, which the two made at Nizas' home. Lonely's neighborhood. With a few years of experience under his belt, he started recording music in the studio in late 2020, where he would drop his project, Broken Hearts, in September, and his deluxe on Halloween. The second song, Oh Yeah, from the deluxe, caught the eye of fellow Atlanta native Playbook Hardy, who reached out and invited Lonely to join in, in the studio sessions for a whole lot of red, soon welcoming him to his newfound label, Opium. These sessions led to collaboratives with fellow opium signee, Ken Carson, for the song Casket, as well as being involved in the making of Cardi's music video, Sky. Additionally, opium is a position of power in both the underground and mainstream, as Carson, Lonely, and Cardi make a deadly trio for their distinct sound. All three of them fit in the lane pioneered by Cardi throughout his rise to stardom. However, Lonely showcases his own unique flair within his discography, creating a crazy fan base that surrounds his music constantly. Destroy dropped highly anticipated project, No Stylist, featuring production that recalls some of Playboy Cardi's most playful material. No Stylist deserves a strong introduction to his sound. The production is bass heavy and constantly gravitates to the fast paced BPMs. The big chorus synthesizers and most constant barrage of manic samples makes it clear we'll let Cardi design Destroy to his record label. In his XXL cover story earlier this year, Cardi outlined his plans for his label. My artists that I have are Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, Homicide Bino, and Homicide Michi, he explained. I have a gang of producers. I came in first just signing a gang of producers. Ken and Lonely, there are two kids who grew up where I'm from. And they are family. As they got older, they started rapping. Did you enjoy Destroy Lonely's new project? Let me know what you think.